impressive first year in the SEC for the Aggies of Texas A&M. Tonight they visit Jordan Hare Stadium for the first time. And they're going to face a proud but wounded Auburn program as Trey Williams back to return. And we're underway on the planes. Here's Williams from the five. Stumbles a little bit across the 15. Across the 12 of the season. A little four wide here. He's going to check. Molina in the backfield. On first down inside handoff, Molina. Good run, close to a first down, but there's a flag down at the 45-yard line. Opening drive for AM. Michael, his first carry. The veteran of the AM backfield. He is a big rares down on defense is it's incumbent to start fast versus this offense at AM. Ninth play of the drive play fake on the run. Manziel to the end zone. Touchdown. Ryan Swope. The senior receiver with a 16-yard touchdown reception and an impressive opening drive by the Aggies. One official said it was a catch. The other one overruled him. Second down and 10 for Auburn. And Trey Mason nowhere to go. See on third down this year. 28%. Mosley. Pocket collapsing. Down he goes. Sacked. Inside the 20 yard line by Sean Porter, mm -hmm. whose sack numbers are down. Passing other than the touchdown pass, spread the defense even more. Michael bangs off a tackler or two, and he gets another first down carry. He battled injuries the last couple of years. Second and 10 for Texas AM at the 29. Manziel being pressured. Bates coming in, gets it off to Trey Williams. Williams still on his feet. And he's got a first down out at the 16-yard line. Long, it seems, from outside. Now Williams lowers his head and gets down to the six. Lose it to the Aggies. Third and ten, it's Molina. Solid run. It's not going to be enough for the... Uh, it's down here now. This is your right tackle lined up over on the left side of their offensive formation. Manziel sprinting out. He's going to keep it. Nobody stops him. Touchdown. Johnny Football takes it in for the Aggies. It's Ricardo Lewis. And no game. It's a challenge for defensive coordinators to face that type of talent. Second down, 12. Another flag down. Manziel taking a shot deep downfield, looking for Mike Evans. And that's a catch. Offside, defense, the penalties decline. Play results in first down. Keeping that foot in. Great Johnny concentration. Manziel playing for Marcus Lattimore. It's unbelievable, you know, the respect that the peers in this conference have for Marcus Lattimore and what he's brought to the game. Hard to see him go down with injury again. For the second year in a row, a devastating knee injury. But maybe the best running back in college football. And Ben Molina. Big running back play of his own right here. Jonathan Mincy brings him down at the 19, a gain of 21. You know, the draw game tonight has been very good to AM. You get pressure, Gabe Wright gets upfield. It just opens up a rush lane for Ben Molina. And Zell complete to Swope. He escapes and dives into the end zone. Another Texas AM touchdown. Right tackle Patrick Miller is split out of your top of your screen in the slot. And it doesn't pay off. Shooting in Jonathan Stewart, the middle linebacker with the sack. 26 sacks allowed by the Auburn offense. That's sixth most in the nation. Under a minute to go here in the opening quarter. On third and a mile, another sack. There's Jenkins this time. And the Boo Birds starting here at third and ten. Mansell steps up. Big running lane. First down and more. Walks out of bounds inside the 40-yard situation like this. He's usually the go-to guy. They'll try the inside handoff, and they find a seam for Kristen Michael. It's a foot race, and he wins it to the end zone. Four drives, four touchdowns for the Aggies. There you almost have to go back to the third. 
don't know if there's going to be even more, but there's only so many great head coaching candidates out there. Frazier did not start. He's in this game at quarterback now, and on first down, finds the tight end, C.J. Uzuma, for a big game down close to scoring distance. Touchdown, Auburn. Trey Mason takes it in. Alabama and Mississippi State playing right now. This is a first down for Trey Williams. Taken out at the 45. He said he wasn't shocked that they've had the success that they've had so far. He knew after that first game when they were able to battle Florida closely that this team was going to be just fine. Mansell taking a shot downfield. Hauled in by Ryan Swope. That's what he does. Over 2,000 receiving yards. There's actually improvement for him. Mansell off his back foot drops it off to Molina. The running back flagged down. It's probably going to be a holding call. Molina dives to the end zone, and they're going to call. Holding, offense number 70. 10-yard penalty for the three. It's come loose. It's not holding. Second down and 26 now. Manziel, this is what he does. He's got the first down and tripped up finally inside the 10 by Jonathan Mincy. He is dynamic. Still not overload set. Manziel, ton of time, rolling out, flag down. Manziel's going to try and run for the pylon, reaches out, and got it. What an athletic play by Johnny Manziel. There is only been his knee touching down. Before that ball advances, and all it has to do for Auburn. Now Frazier in trouble, and he's going to be dumped. A sack at the 38-yard line. There is DeMontre. It was a nice win for South Carolina, but if you lose Lattimore, it's going to be hard to make a BCS game now for the Gamecocks. Here's Ryan Swope. Big play again. That's his fourth catch tonight. Receiver statistically to ever play for the Aggies. And once again, he's with that, but that's what he's been doing to defenses so far this season all year long. Molina, touchdown Texas A&M, and they make it look so easy. It has been a tough, tough Saturday night so far. Evans wide open along the sideline. Big play. Someone's team on its way to becoming bowl eligible. 42 to 7 at the half. But this offense really met with very little resistance defensively. From all. Kristen Michael, the first play for the Aggies of the half from scrimmage and he runs it out to I'm going to talk about him getting back into that Heisman race now wants to throw here Matt wide open it's Swope at the 20 they are just chewing up this Auburn defense in that second. Auburn might as well have just kicked off to him Swope 140 yards receiving and now another first down run and an easy touchdown for Johnny Manziel as this is becoming embarrassing for the Auburn Tigers year and 350 yards Cliff Kingsbury having someone very pleased there's Blake in motion and now Frazier wants to throw and Blake wide open again catches it at the 40 steps inside the zone spread spread out formations with Wallace in their quarterback complete again to the tight end Yuzuma to the end zone touchdown Second down and nine. And they'll give it to Williams. Another big run across the board. Signal again. Showers. Sabian Holmes on the catch. It's the last time you saw this at Auburn. Certainly not two years ago when everything was going just fine. And he knew that right now, Auburn defensively struggled all game long in the effort. Seemingly loud. Oh. Williams. First down and goal for the position as well. Yeah, look. Touchdown, Aggies. You get in there from Jackson here. Say something like that. Clearly disheartening and disheartened about the Auburn program at this point. Wallace is going to take a shot in the end zone. Caught by Blake. Beautiful pass. Beautiful. We're talking about Rushmore, that's four spots. But, you know, there's so many greats that were here at Auburn across many sports. Here's Trey Williams for the Aggies. They continue to pile Williams up yards. 
Jamil Showers, a quarterback, complete first down. For the 29, that's Malcolm. Oh, that's Showers is going to keep it. Cuts it up to the 21 yards since the 96 season. And Texas A&M driving inside the lane. to operate pretty seamlessly. Williams inside the five, and he's close to another touchdown. I don't think he made it. Probably missed this. Malcolm Kennedy on the receiving end of a Texas A&M touchdown pass from Jameel Showers. In fact, the first career touchdown pass for Showers. And the extra point was good. It's now 63-21. A&M with 6.27 to go here. And this is the most points allowed by an Auburn team since the 1917 season. When you just thought it couldn't get any worse for these Auburn Tigers. The fan base, you can see right now in the stadium, and there's probably more kids at a, fans at a high school game. Jay Prosh with the catch, the fullback. You know, A&M's got Mississippi State. This is perfect timing for them to get their starters out, let them rest up. They missed out on that bye week. So strategically, this is a good game to jump out on front and hang on to a big lead. Texas A&M becomes the seventh bowl-eligible team in the SEC in their first year in the league. They didn't know about Johnny Manziel at College Station back in July and August. He was named the starter, and he has been dynamite for Kevin Sumlin. Gets the win on the road in AM's first trip to Auburn. 672 yards of total offense tonight for Texas AM. Nine touchdowns on 11 drives. Five of them, Manziel had a hand in. Kevin Sumlin, a proud Alabama native, made his family and friends who made the trip and were in attendance here tonight very happy with a Texas AM win. Johnny Manziel was the story tonight 63 21 the final we'll be back here in auburn to talk more about manzel for now to the studio and Matt.